Hey guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to build a drug multi-class classifier at 100% F1 score. Okay guys, and we're going to deploy it on Streamlit Cloud using Streamlit. Okay, uh, before we get started, uh, download this data set right here. Now I have to warn you, in actual production, if you were in a real life work situation, this data set would be too small. Uh, you know, just letting you guys know. The, but this is just to practice your proficiency in Streamlit and build a good machine learning model also. Okay. And guys, if you guys want to use another algorithm other than what I'm doing, uh, feel free and then uh, just uh, tune in for the Streamlit part, how you can uh, apply it to your own algorithm, or you can copy me. It doesn't matter. And it's going to look just like this when we're done just like this and we're going to serve a prediction okay import pandas read the file and place equals true look at the df head right as you can see we're going to need to encode and uh we're going to need to cross reference also okay um there's the original and then there's the encoded data frame, which I called new. Because we're going to need to, for the drug, we're going to need, it goes from zero to four. We're going to need to decode that later. Get the minimum and get the maximum so you know the drugs. And just so you know, there's four classes. I mean, five classes, I mean. And look at DF info. Okay. And then we're going to label encode. The object fit transform as type string drop drug is X and then Y equals drug. Okay. Test train split X and Y standard scalar fit transform X train transform X test. Okay. And then model uh, equals random forest classifier fit X train Y train predict X test. Now we're gonna splice and see um, 65 predictions. There we go. Now the accuracy score and the Y test. Okay, print accuracy score and then there's the Y test. Accuracy score 100, F1 score 100. Now let's look at the confusion matrix. As you can see, if we used a larger data set, it would have had more data to train on and it might've gotten some wrong in the end, but this was such a small data set it got all of them right. How about that? Okay. Okay, DF to CSV. And then uh, we're going to pickle the model. Okay, and then we're going to dump the model. Okay. And get the minimum, the max, the medium, and the average. And guys, remember X, zero example is drug Y and then go through each data frame and then write them down. Example like I did. Okay. And then uh, let's go to the streamlet. Okay. Import streamlet as ST. This is your app PY. You're going to need to make an app PY in your GitHub repository. Set option. Load the pickle file, DF main, and then here's the header. You guys see? Right here, the header and the title for the two headers. Okay, and the sidebar and the text. Okay, there we go. Now put in whichever you want. DF slider, remember? We got to get those ranges. Remember the median and the max, 15 to 75. Male, and you got to explain this to them. Zero is for female, one is for male. Input your blood pressure. Zero for high, one for low, two for medium. The range, zero to two. You guys see? Enter your cholesterol. Zero for high, one for normal, zero, one. And then you remember that your thing was a float, 0, 0.0, 38.47, okay? And then there's your inputs, age, sex, blood pressure, cholesterol, NA to K, predict the inputs, the streamlet button predict, 
flatten as type integer, update equals zero, streamlet write y drug, elif statement one, straight um, drug A if it says so, two, drug B, three, drug C, or else write drug X. Okay? As you can see, this is a pretty highly accurate model although it needed more data to train on, any data scientist or machine learning engineer would tell you. But this is to exercise your proficiency in Streamlit. This is nothing extremely serious. Serious, but not extremely. Okay, and then uh, remember your confusion matrix. The true label and the predicted label. Okay. And uh, let's go back to Streamlit. If you guys saw some of my other videos, you're going to need to do your requirements text file. Okay. NumPy, Streamlit, and Scikit-Learn. Don't do any versions. Okay. And then uh, your model, commit it as well. You can upload or you can do the command line. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go back to the app PY. Remember, whatever you named it, it's got to run in there. In fact, I'm going to run you through it on Streamlit. Okay. I can't actually deploy it again since I already have it deployed. Main branch, you see, it does it for you when you connect. And then the file path. That's because I already have this running. So I'm just showing you guys what to do. Okay. And then you write uh, at PY. Hold on. Let me guys give you another example. Pretend this is... Let me just deploy another one, I guess. Um, just uh, apply this to your project. Um, I already deployed that one. Streamlit brain cancer. Yeah, I got another video for that too. But in this case, whatever you named it, you put it right there, and then your file path, and then click deploy. That's simple. I guess I can do it again. That simple. Streamlit Cloud is a lot easier than Render Cloud or uh, AWS, GCP, because then we get into Docker and all this other stuff. Uh, and uh, GCP, uh, those get expensive. Uh, see some of my other videos for deploying machine learning models on GCP. Eventually, I'm going to get around to back on GCP and do an ML pipeline and deploy maybe the Django web app, but add some Dockerization or a YAML file maybe for the build. And eventually, I'm going to get back on AWS for microservices. I have a lot of AWS SageMaker videos. I have Render Cloud, if you guys don't want to deploy there. This summer, I plan on doing a Django web app and deploying to Heroku or Render Cloud again. I've got many render deployments as well. Streamlit also. Check out my channel, my playlists. Um, just so you know, if you guys are watching this for the first time, mine is technical, and lately I've been starting to get back on the data science side than the technical side. So uh, see some of my other videos for clustering, making a multi, another multi-classification web app, you know, with the, with the DNA clusters. See my last two videos for that project if you guys want a fun one. I've got so many videos. Um, reinforcement learning, reinforcement learning for trading. You name it, I got it on my channel. Check it out. There's over 122 other videos. So if you guys are watching this for the first time, feel free to share. Check it out. There's probably something you need. And uh, be sure to hit like if you haven't already. Subscribe if you want. And anyways, guys, um, 
leave a comment if there's anything you you want me to do. I won't do an ML pipeline until we get to 10,000 subscribers. I won't do the microservices on Google Cloud until we get to 10,000 subscribers. I will do AWS SageMaker when I get to 5,000 subscribers. But if there's something not expensive, um, I'll do it for you guys. Just leave a comment. Anyways, guys, um, uh, it's still doing it. Well, this is how you deploy it. And back to this. Now we got to serve a prediction. I, you guys thought I forgot about that. Okay, let's predict. Drug Y. There we go. Remember, put in these and then put in these for the user. Remember, you got to spell it out for them. And you guys remember how I got that? I cross reference with this. Simply, it's such a small data set, you can do it. And there's not many uh, categoricals when we label encoded. Remember? Anyways, guys, um, take care. And uh, until next time, I promise you, I'm going to get. Uh, uh, a little on both technical and catch up more on the data science side. Although I've got plenty of both. Check out on my, I got to keep it even anyways, guys. Check out the channel, other videos. Thank you. Bye.